Ah, welcome. Another edition of What the Fuck? Happenings uh, in Mendham and such. And the uh, cucumber. Look at the size of that cucumber. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, the garden's just been uh, quite uh, parts of you know, food and such. <laughs> yeah, it's actually working as a garden. Kind of amazing. Lots of tomatoes that are not ready, and lots that are almost ready. And uh, you know, clump of them over there. Harvest soon, whatnot. But just uh, tons of stuff in here. Uh, but yes, this is the biggest cucumber I ever growed. So, Man mark kind of a thing. Uh, <laughs> you know. So I did have a um, one of those hawk moths that I was I have mentioned in the past. Uh, you know, they lay a big caterpillar, uh, and, uh, well, they have a big caterpillar, so, yeah, it ate this plant, like, just ate most of it, <laughs> yeah, most of it got eaten, so, um, no, I'll show it to you, very pretty caterpillar, I don't know what to, quite to do with it, so I'm not going to feed it my tomato plants, uh, and, uh, you know, I just don't know what to do with it exactly. Ethically, yeah, dragonfly. Too bad I don't have the uh, macro camera. Okay, yeah. that was dead for a minute. Uh, praying mantis molted, so now it does have her wings. She is a female. She's gotten pretty big. Yeah. Hello, I'm over here. Well, oh. <laughs> made you nervous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's got like seven little, you know, I think their wings are still here, yeah. There's <laughs> one of their wings, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, life is hilarious. Anyway, it is terrible. So, I didn't make any videos this week, which is kind of unusual. <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of a weird cucumber. Got kind of caught in there, in the net, a little bit. Yeah, I just uh, tons of them. Been pickling them. I don't know what else to do with them because I got so many. Just tons and tons. So I'm gonna have to learn how to eat pickles. Ah, uh, so this is the caterpillar. I will take some uh, better pictures with the camera. Camera. So it's been in this kind of sleepy mode since I found it. So maybe it's getting ready to chrysalis or something. Uh, don't know. It has a little horn on the back there. A little fake spear. Very pretty. Um, but, you know, I don't know exactly what to do with it. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, uh, so, but I did do the live room. Uh, Mike and Dee um, had a room and, um, you know, Mike's sort of better. <laughs> yeah, I had a little bit of a, a bad time. I had to have, have <laughs> yeah, it had to be shut down for a while and, uh, get some whatever. I don't think he got reprogrammed actually. <laughs> yeah, so it might be not enough. Let's go find some water. My water buckets are empty. Um, I wonder whose fault that is. Uh, Rainwater. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't usually. Well, yeah, I do usually do something stupid in the middle of a video because I realize, oh, that needs water. I thought I had finished, completed my watering tasks, but apparently not. You know, these poor things are dying. And it's, you know, pretty much my fault, because, you know, they're totally dependent on me to provide their sustenance, and uh, I failed to do so properly. Um, there's been a lot of, you know, it's the downside of the garden. It's, uh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> you know, it's like every day, you know, you have to, oh, you want water every day, you know, and this whole plants. Uh, it's kind of like the cats. It'd be nice if they just gave you a week off here or there just to, you know, just to know what life is like without having to, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I am complaining, and, oh, and I think back to the old working days, you know, working in the real world. Oh, it's just horrible. Sickening grind. I really would have killed myself if I didn't go crazy. 
So there's some more tomatoes. They're all ready today for picking. So it's like, I mean, I'm getting like 30 a day or something. It's just getting a little bit sick of tomatoes, but it's free food. Look at the size of that cucumber. <laughs> That's just gigantic. Hey, anyway, might find a bigger one. Who knows? There's all kinds of stuff hidden in here. So used to look. Here's a cucumber plant way up here. Look at that. Look at a big cucumber hanging there in the middle of the air. Anyway, um, so yeah, I did a room. Uh, it's on. It's linked on my video site where I link videos and all that kind of stuff. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> no, no, it was pretty good in terms of, uh, had a conversation with a couple of individuals and I didn't do anything insane, and uh, it all went fairly well in terms of convincing them that, you know, one of them was kind of like, well, can't we fix this thing, and blah, 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 and it's like, you know, the best fix is the cure, let's go all the way, let's, you know, let's not buy mosquito nets, let's kill the mosquitoes. <laughs> you know, let's, let's, let's sanitize this dump. Um, that's the the most economic solution. Uh, less risk, less everything. Uh, less money, less risk, less work, less time, less everything. Uh, just go for the simple fix of the human brain. Get people off of their miso-horny problem. I understand miso-horny. I'm just saying you just don't. You just realize me so horny is me so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's not the smart part of your brain that does that kind of shit. It's the dumb part of your brain. And that um, you got to just know that you don't want to make more things go with me so horny. That's just not a good idea. Not at all. I mean, it's just it's so simple. And you're just like, so anyway, speaking of the so simple, it's the whole physics thing, I've been doing that. And, uh, I have found that the internet is fairly dysfunctional. I mean, there's all these Google Plus rooms, uh, hundreds of thousands of members, and nobody's talking to anybody. No one's saying, you know, everybody's just, everybody's just saying stuff, and there's no listening involved. There's no interaction you can find that's useful, except, you know, you on drugs, that kind of bullshit. So... There really is very little to uh, invest in, in terms of a conversation. So, yeah, it really is, it's just disappointing that there's, it's always, everything's got to be by some kind of coup. Every, every, you can't solve a problem by, well, let's come to a political resolution and let's discuss this out and find out what the right answer is and blah, 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 blah. And let's all do the best thing and blah. No, there's none of that. There's just either your side wins or their side wins. It's all or nothing. It's uh, uh, yeah, it's disappointing. That's what it is. These marigolds came out nice, very nice. So I'll probably take seeds from there, but hopefully they won't be too polluted. This yeah, it's really disappointing. I mean, it's, you, know, you go to the trouble to raise these little puppies, and then you end up with some kind of mutant piece of crap like that. What the hell is that? I just don't know why that happens. It either goes that way or it does this thing, which is even worse. It doesn't even make a flower. It just makes this fuzzy thing. And that's all it'll do. It'll just stay like that. No no flower involved. Just just the stupid fuzz. So, yeah, that's not what you're after. Flies are biting me. Um, so, so, yeah, that's the sum up for the week. It's just the physics thing mostly. And then I did the room and... That was, you know, it's a couple hours worth of conversation, so I did talk a lot, so if you want to listen to me talk for two hours, there's two hours worth of it there. Um, and like I said, it's not, it wasn't bad stuff. Zero sum game kind of conversation, all that kind of stuff. Um, all stuff you've probably heard before if you're a regular. And like I said, it's hard to get into any irregular audience, so this whole thing isn't really generating much. Um, but keep working at it, and uh, you know, I eventually we'll get somewhere, I assume. Um, so anyway, uh, I think that's it. You know, the cats are waiting for their food. Early today. 
Uh, but you know, it's a little overcast, so I guess that uh, makes them think it's later than it is. Oh, there's another praying mantis, I think. Nope, cricket. Hardly the same. I haven't seen too many. Saw a little male one over there the other day, <laughs> but uh, he was really small. So this female would definitely eat him. Um, yeah, I wanted to get a picture of her molting, but she was over there, and I knew she was getting ready to get her wings because she was acting funny. <laughs> you know, funny for a praying mantis. Um, but then, like, she fell off the fence or something, so I guess she molted on the ground. I guess she fell off and it didn't matter. Uh, I thought they had to be upside down or something when they did that, but I guess it worked out okay. Well, obviously it worked out okay. She seemed to handle it. Uh, but that, this is all. Now, you don't need biological crap in these videos, too, right? I mean, too much biological crap. Oh, these damn little flies. I better get the hell out of here. Um... It's just really just, yeah, it's just it's all these little subtle things about life. It's, a, you know, the trolls on the internet and biting flies when you go outside. It just, just sucks it. It isn't a little better than that. I mean, it's still going to suck, but I just mean, the, the, you know, they're just like gratuitous bits of suck or, you know, ticks and mosquitoes and flies. Yeah. Just takes any pleasure edge right off of it. These are quite beautiful. Anyway, um, so, till later. So, sorry, Mel, I didn't mean to disturb you. Mel. Still has his nuts, that cat does. Anyway, um, so, that's enough. And then uh, I'll do the other segments. I still don't think I'm going to do much production value. We'll just see if anything's starts rolling and see how my mood goes, whether I really care to be a producer of something, but we'll see. Try harder. I just I have so many things I'm trying to do and it just seems like a waste to waste time making a joke. Eh, it's not how I want to spend my my moments on this planet. I'm not <laughs> yeah, for a I can be funny, but it's like I said, it's usually by accident, and I don't have any sense of humor. I mean, it's really difficult to make me laugh at something that's supposed to be funny, because most of the time I don't think the jokes are funny. I mean, they're like, ha oh, ha, oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho, but yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't do much for me. Humor doesn't do much for me. <sighs> Um, and such. So anyway, enough of this crap. Till next time. And such. And, uh, well, till shortly. Potted cat. He likes his pot. Look, cucumber. You want some of that for dinner? I don't think he'll eat it. Anyway, till next time. And such. Alright, uh, drunken peasants segment. Yeah, my saw. <laughs> yeah, I'll try I try to get some enthusiasm for this kind of stuff, but I just so far I just don't see the plan entirely, even though it's my plan. And I'm not getting it. But we'll see what happens. So we're at the, somewhere after twelve minutes to just make it variety and whatnot and we'll see what they do. It's tis entertainment, apparently. Some sort of atheist watch. I don't know what that is. Go fund me. Oh, I know what that is. The Bible reloaded with, I guess, some kind of Jesus with guns and nuclear power. I don't know. I don't like people much. Point. Chances are you've come across the DMCA. And what that is, is they send a legal notice to YouTube that tells them that copyrighted material is in the video and it needs to be taken down. Now, this is valid if you, for instance, uploaded a whole movie or large portions of... Oh, it sounds like trick almost. So I guess they're making fun of somebody talking about the DMCA? Maybe. Movie. However, there is part of copyright law called fair use. You've probably heard of this through various videos on YouTube. Like, people like Doug Walker have done the campaigns where's the fair... Oh. I don't even know why anybody talks about this. The law doesn't mean anything. None of the law matters. It just doesn't have, doesn't have any relevance. 
they're pre-censoring. The law doesn't mean anything. If you're a big corporation, they do exactly what you want. If you're not a big corporation, you can't. You don't have the right to do a damn thing. Because they're not going to sue you. They're just going to delete you. YouTube is going to pre-censor you. It's they, they don't care about courts and legal process and all that. The obligation to defend your copyright. No obligation. They just say it's mine. YouTube says yes, it's yours, and you're done. It's over. Stop. It's no point. There's no. It's not. I'm never going to court because YouTube won't oblige Sony to go to court. So the law is meaningless. Use uh, in which. For criticism or satire or comedy, stuff like that, as long as you're using the material in a limited way, you're allowed to use copyrighted material. Well, obviously you're not, so just shut up. You're quite obviously not. You just won't be able to do that, dude. It can't happen. The content will be taken down, and it won't be put back up, and that's it. They're not going to sue you. You're not going to have the right to go to court and defend what you did. You're just not going to have that right. Real without the authorized consent of the copyright think, uh, holder, as long as you use I think, it. I think Jake should wear lipstick. <laughs> I would always, I would always remember if it was, you know, Hugo and the lipstick guy. <laughs> Hugo and the lipstick guy. I like the sound of yeah. that. Well, that was really on subject. All of, I, I totally, yeah, that's real. Wow, the continuity of this show is amazing. Yeah properly. Now, we pride ourselves on, in our videos, especially talking about the Cristiano Brothers movies, we definitely fall in line under fair use. Normally this isn't a problem for us, it's usually an automated system. We bounce back a DMCA to the people who sent it via their bot, usually, and it gets taken care of. In the case of Five and Two Pictures, however, we actually got a real person. This person will go unnamed, but I had long, long conversations over the course of a few days with that. Oh, it's idiotic. Obviously, it doesn't count for anything, any real corporation. You're not going to talk to anybody. There's not going to be any conversation. You're just going to lose. There's no fair use. There's no right to fair use. YouTube is pre-censoring. It's doing the... It's, it's playing I'm court, and I will decide. You don't get to go to a real court of them trying to ignore me, but I continue to come back with the defense of fair use. However, uh, instead, they continue to be belligerent. I did, however, get in contact with Dave, who is the head of Five and Two Pictures, or the Cristiano Films Group, and uh, I explained fair use to him. Well, why don't you just say to him, fuck you, sue me, cunt. That's what you're supposed to be allowed to say. You're supposed to say, take me to court, fucker. Okay, I can defend what I did, jackass. I didn't steal anything of value from you, you fucking cunt. I played your clip of you being an asshole and I critiqued it. There. We're done. That's fair use, shithead. I educate the public that you're a jackass. There. Fair use. Fuck you. Die. Yeah, that's... You, you, should, you don't have to have a fucking conversation. As soon as you start having a conversation, that's like having the trial outside of the court. What's the fucking point? <sighs> as well. Eventually we came to an understanding, albeit begrudgingly, on the behalf of the person. Well, that has nothing to do with real world then. So why are you giving instruction on fair use when you're not doing it the legal way either, asshole? I talk to most of the time. Again, who will remain nameless. Though we have oh, yeah, well, whatever. You're not going to talk to anybody at Sony. They're just going to say, fuck you, it's our song. You can't use any part of it ever. I have come to call him the pirate guy for reasons we will maybe explain in the future. Anyway, so, basically... Why are they playing this stupid shit? This is, this is entertaining somebody? Uh, no, no, this is putting people into chitonic stupors what happened was months go by maybe it's been like two months at best uh and hugo and i are sitting down to record one of our many videos and i get an email uh and it gets sent straight to my phone for the business email and i read it uh, right before we begin oh and this I is really exciting and then i sneezed and i had to wipe my nose and then i farted and i said oh i better go wipe my ass and then i um what what did you do after? Why can we have every fucking detail, please? Please, I just must have every single detail. Fuck. I start laughing. Like a lot. And Hugo is a little upset at me because we're supposed to be working. 
Uh, he's very professional uh, when the hot microphone is sitting in front of him. But uh, so I read the email to him, and it turns out I don't. I can't believe people listen to this. So they're playing a show that apparently people listen to on this show that apparently people listen to, doing this. <laughs> I mean, really. Uh, I don't know how. Well, I don't, I'm just trying to figure out how I could do something that great. Ooh, God. God, I, I can only dream about being as super entertaining as this. Huh? YouTube sent me an email uh, letting us know that 5 and 2 Pictures Cristiano Film Group has sent five <coughs> DMCA notices. Uh -huh. Five! One, two, three, four! Not just four, but five! The MCs! Oh, and look, there's a picture of them! It's so fucking exciting! Oh, no, it's not. To our channel. However, in that, in that email, even YouTube, yes, even YouTube, under their new system, said, Hey, we're pretty sure you fall under fair use. We're just letting you know this happened. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. So, again, so these guys are probably popular enough that they can steal content and it's okay with YouTube. So, again, YouTube is making the decision which they're not supposed to be doing. That's the whole, whole point of the DMCA is basically to say that providers have no accountability. That's exactly what it's for. It's for giving YouTube completely no responsibility at all. They're just supposed to process the fucking goddamn paperwork and the fucking owner is supposed to fucking pay for a lawsuit to defend their copyright. That's how it's supposed to fucking work. YouTube isn't fucking supposed to be saying, we think it's fair use. That's not supposed to fucking happen. It's fucking illegal. Fucking YouTube to be in fucking jail for fucking playing court. You're not a court, YouTube. You don't have that right under the law. And the very fucking point of the law is your immunity is based on the fact that you don't do this. As soon as you start using your discretion to decide what is fair use, then you're accountable for your fucking decisions, you retarded fucking cunt company. But we know it just goddamn doesn't matter. The law doesn't matter. YouTube admitted, their, the entire creators of YouTube admitted, we stole content on purpose to steal views, to get money so we could sell it to Google. They admitted that's exactly what they did. And the court said, fine, good. That's just good American business. Stealing is the American way. We have no law in this cunt, ugly, stupid, ignorant, fat, smelly country. This country of fucking ass wipes who accept all this fucking goddamn drivelly goop as a goddamn fucking civilization. Yeah, we have no fucking laws. All we have is people with power and people with no power. We don't have a fucking law. <sighs> so here's the thing. We have the list of all five of those DMCA's. The first three are movie reviews that we did. You go tell the people what the movie reviews are. We did uh, Crime of the Age, which several which other people... Which is terrible. Uh, several, terrible. Several other people have also done that, including Brad Jones, the cinema snob. Uh, End of Harvest, which is another one starring also, the... Hey, also terrible. Yeah, hey, Scotty Jesus Man guy. And uh, right, so we know you guys aren't reviewing good movies. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. And if they were popular movies, would it still make a difference? The point is, is there's a legal right, but yeah, you obviously can't play the whole fucking movie, so blah, blah, blah. But, and again, it's how did you get the content of the movie, right? You can't go into a theater and record it, so... You know, the tricky part is, where do you get legal content? So if, unless you're reviewing a movie that was broadcast on free TV, you probably don't have a legal, well, I guess, unless it's on DVD. Yeah, you can do it if it's on DVD. Um, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, there's a point, and, but that's what for a court to decide, right? Courts are supposed to decide how much you can do and what you can do, and you have to be willing to defend what you did. So if you're sure that you used only a small amount of their movie to do what you did, only the necessary amount, you didn't just gratuitously play 15 minutes of the movie and then go, gee, I thought that scene sucked. 
Yeah, now that probably wouldn't count, you know? You can't just play the movie and then say, well, oh, I thought that scene sucked. Yeah, you can't do it. Yeah, I could say that four times an hour. That, that wouldn't count as a review. Yeah, that would count as just playing the fucking movie. Like, why, why are you, like, get to the lawsuit, man. Ah, please, yes, that's what's supposed to happen is a lawsuit. Yes, thank you, finally. You mean this actually does end in some sort of process that is significant? Ah, oh, of course it won't. There'll be some kind of bullshit that got thrown out of court. It didn't make it because we don't have any fucking law. Changer. No. Very bad. All of these movies, we didn't use clips Where's from the, the movies. Instead, we used stills. Now, why did we do right. this? Because in our discussions with Dave from Five and Two Pictures, he was actually a very nice guy. His employee was belligerent and very mean. Uh, I thought you didn't want to name the guy. Well, anyway, I'm going to move ahead because this is obviously just too long a fucking story. And I just want to know what the fuck happened now. And I don't really care about all this shit. I put a link in the description. There is a link in our description to go help them out. You can go watch their whole video. No, I'm not going to help them the out. Let them go to court and win. There's so many DMCA's at once. It's like they, they, they put five through because they want the channel to pretty much go into this, like, you know, we don't get this limbo where it's like, we don't YouTube know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, well, you're not going to stop that. You, that's YouTube's job. YouTube's job is to take it down and for it to say, well, go to court, fuckers. So if somebody's willing to sue you, they have to spend the money to sue you, jackass. So they're going to feel like they have a legitimate case. But if you really think you you did fair use, if all you used was stills from their fucking movie, you're going to have a slam dunk court case, okay? So you're going to be able to win. So you don't need any lawyers. You don't need nothing. All you need to say is, hey, I used stills from their fucking cut movie. Uh, right? Fair use. Fuck this. It's obviously a movie review. So they don't like it. Too fucking bad. I didn't steal nothing. Well, I mean, like, another another big red flag that these are bullshit DMCA's is, like, right there in the DMCA, like, underneath each one, one of the bullet points is, where does the content appear? Entire video. Yeah, the entire so video. So their commentary is also your content, right? No. Like... They, they, they file these DMCA's as if these movies have just been uploaded entirely and nothing has been added or subtracted. Well, it doesn't really matter. Like I said, they're going to have to prove that in court, so that's, they're going to be, that's going to be their liability because the judge will read the case and he'll say, well, I can already, you know, I can decide this in seven seconds. I'll add it. You know, where, what, what are you talking about? They used a still from your movie and you're in court? Well, you're an idiot, okay? They're allowed to do that. That's fair use, okay? They didn't, they didn't deliberately or maliciously harm your content and they didn't take profit for it. So you just have no fucking case. So go cry somewhere else. This is America. People are allowed to exercise their uh, commentary rights and they can show a picture of the president and call him a nigga. They can do anything they want like that. That's, that's America, fucker. Sort of. Well, anyway, so at least we know that, okay, so now they're doing this whole bullshit to fund them for some court case because somehow they can't figure out how to write a piece of paper that says we didn't do it. Force the other fucker to prove we stole something or we did something malicious because we didn't do any of that shit. We educated the public. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Something like that. One of those, there's lots of fair use clauses, whether they're, you're doing the entertainment thing or satire or this or that. But the, the, the real point is, is if they just use stills of the movie, it's just going to be slam dunk. There's just no way you could make an argument that stills are compromising the, 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 the monetary value of your product. That's just plain fucking stupid. Uh, all right. Okay, so that's enough. So that was fun, wasn't it? I just can't believe they did all that. They just wasted all that time playing this horrible description of the problem. And they couldn't have just paraphrased it and say, Look, these guys got a problem. They got DMCA and help them out. They couldn't have just done that instead. Instead of playing that tedious dribble. Alright. That way it was. Fuck! <laughs> That's not any... That is, this isn't even any fun! Why the fuck would I listen to this shit? Oh, let's go find somebody with cancer with no money and we'll do a fucking fundraiser for them and let's go find some other sad story. Ah. 
I got a cat with a broken leg. Is that, you know, do you want to do a fundraiser for my cat? Yeah, it's got a broken leg. Yeah, it's not broken, it's deformed. But anyway, uh, you know, he could use something for that. Like something. You know, he can't get a regular job. His leg's fucked up. You know. But yeah, who wants to tune into that podcast, right? Let's say, let's tell a bunch of sad stories. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, not for me, thank you very much. Anyway. <sighs> fuck. Okay, so on to the news or something. Another fun, exciting segment, no doubt. Still soon-ish. Alright, on to the new segment. Eesh. <laughs> so anyway, this is a little funny. So anyway, they have this one story at the top. It's a breaking thingy, whatever. Turkey wedding suicide bomber was child age 12 to 14. Uh, you know, you're just like, oh, the world is too stupid. And these stupid people with their stupid whatever ragheads. It's a wedding and they're wearing black. Well, maybe that's a funeral or something. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't really, you know, weddings probably is a right time to wear black. Yeah. It's hard to feel good about anything. Anyway, so anyway, some asshole, oops, some person in the world, Rolf, somebody. News is bad for you. It leads to fear and aggression. It hinders your creativity and makes you sick. We should stop consuming it, says Rolf, whoever he is. Uh, so, um, I thought that was kind of funny, but really, it's living is bad for you. Um, living with assholes is bad for you. Having assholes on planet Earth is bad for us. We should get rid of them. We should, you know, kill them. Um, you know, the trolls and the jerks and the crooks and the liars and the bullshitters. And the... You could go, you could expand the list of so many things, you know, just the people that walk funny, people that fart too much, uh, uh, you know, this is, this is the stinkiest, dirtiest, cruddiest, scuddiest place, I mean, we shouldn't live here. We should tear down this slum and build a real civilization with fancy people, with special powers and twinkly things and they radiate sparkles, that kind of stuff. We should just redo this whole stupid, idiotic game. It's just stupid, scuzzy, putrid, cruddy, crappy game. Just play a better one than this. This one sucks. Ugh. <laughs> no, I don't really... Fuck you. I have more empathy from fucking dead Martians than these fucking creepy humans. These fucking religious kooks. God, you're fucking so, your, your brain is so fucking retarded. I mean, it's just, I guess I, I, I can't relate to any of this shit. I, I, I relate to bugs. Bugs make more sense than these fucktards and their fairy tales. Ugh, God, I'm just so sick of silly, stupid human tricks. All right, so we have to pick a news. So let's go to USA Today. I used to get that paper for a while. You know, when it first came out, it was kind of a a readable little paper. You know, you could just kind of see the news and the story was there and you didn't have to jump to page 17 to get the rest of it. And uh, had, yeah, it was okay. So anyway, I thought it was okay. As newspapers go, it just did the news thing. It's okay. National, it was, you know, didn't seem to be quite as addy. Just an impression I had, maybe. Uh, let's see. A teacher who impregnated teacher gets six million from district. I don't know why. Uh, you could get six million dollars for fucking a teacher? Uh, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, the world is just too bizarre, right? Yeah, it's just too bizarre. It's too bizarre. Oh, I got paid for the drama of having sex. Voluntarily. I just hate this planet. It's like giving all that money to those crazy 
Branch Davidian kooks. I mean, that was so insane. It cost us a zillion dollars. You know, the FBI, they killed ATF people. They did all this shit, and we paid the money for that. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? We paid them to protect a, a fucking person who was impregnating his own kids. <laughs> fuck. Paid them for that. Anyway. Ah, so this is just so bleak. Welfare reform 20 years later that worked. What didn't? And Clinton's hugging a, a welfare recipient who's now, whatever, probably selling whatever, three-legged uh, kitchen tables or something. Anyway, Hillary Clinton uh, outspends Trump in White House showdown. Well, whatever. I guess if the people gave her money, she can, the corporations paid her enough money, I guess she can spend it. Let's see. Tr Trump latest reboot relies on prepared speeches. <clears throat> oh, he's figured out to keep, somebody figured out to say, hey, just read the script, asshole. Don't fucking editorialize, you retard. I mean, he won't listen it's very long anyway. Oh, what an asshole. Let's see, Iraq executes 36 men convicted of Islamic State massacre. Um, okay. I don't know what that means exactly, but I guess they massacred somebody. Best man's bachelor party turns out to be nastiest scam. Well, I don't know what that means. They're just showing the bottom half of the bride, so I don't know what that is. Sexual innuendo, maybe. Suicide bomber as young as 12 behind attack at turkey wedding. So this is the shoes people were wearing at a wedding? <laughs> I mean, okay, I know this is supposed to be symbolic or something, but really, somebody was wearing bright red sneakers at the wedding in Turkey? You're not supposed to have money to be able to buy them, whatever that is. Look pretty fancy to me. All right, uh, major sponsor questions USA Gymnastics practices. Uh, well, I don't know what they, I don't know, who cares anymore. I just couldn't give a shit about any of that crap anymore. Clinton campaign manager. Trump may be Kremlin puppet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it sounds like a silly thing to say, but whatever. Biggest news you missed this weekend. No, I'm sorry, I don't really care. Explo I mean, I certainly don't care if it has something to do with this stupid Olympic shit. Explosion in Turkey, wedding, ceremony kills 20. Okay, well, we already heard about that. 12-year-old did it. Uh, police, mom charged for leaving children alone while pack packing up food, picking up food. Well, I said, you know, I, they shouldn't write all this crap on top of somebody's face because, you know, you really can't uh, judge their character. Uh, anyway, KFC's secret recipe found in scrapbook. Uh, it turns out the secret recipe was sitting on the chicken for a half an hour. We actually sat on it and uh, gave it that special little um, wildness. Anyway, Queen of Tigers, Menemenchebenchi, known as Crocodile Hunter, dies at 19. Oh, what a sad. Hi. Tigers are really quite... Quite a magnificently constructed machine, you have to admit. It's just uh, quite beautiful, powerful, all that kind of shit. Just really quite amazing. Came out that way. Some of the animals are actually... Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really a... That's a fancy thing you made there. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes, you know, nature gets something right. Let's see. X seal to pay $6.6 million in case over book on Osama Bin Laden raid. Six million in case. So he, I don't know. He, I guess he had. To, he has to pay money for stealing the story of whatever shooting the insane Osama bin Laden or something. You know, while I was watching cartoons, arriving late to wedding in Turkey uh, saved his life. Oh, okay. Wow, kills fifty-one. I thought it was thirty. The other story was thirty something. So. FEMA halts $30 million in Katrina reimbursements to Mississippi. Well, gee, I mean, they're still doing that shit. I mean, the whole thing is just stupid. 
<sighs> Let's pay people for living underwater and then the water covers them. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, no, it's not pay people for being stupid. You live in a place that's technically underwater. You want to buy a house? It's going to be technically underwater. Huh? No, you don't buy that. If you buy it, you did the Darwin thing. You proved you really shouldn't survive. All right, so they keep doing this police thing. I didn't know Turkey's police look like American police. It's pretty gross. They get the same kind of blue shirt thingy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's spooky. Federal Election Commission cracks down on... It's like they should be wearing red or something, right? Uh, on Des Nuts, other fake candidates. I don't know what that means. Who cares? Raw... 1991 coup victims honored in Moscow. I don't know what that means either. The, apparently they killed a giant hippopotamus or something. And then took over the Kremlin. Relative awaits remains in, of Turkey blast victim. Oh gee, I get, oh, we have to wait in line to get my remains. <laughs> Could I please have a bucket of remains? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I need a bucket of remains. I have to wait. I have a ticket. Is it my turn to get a bucket of remains? Oh, people. Oh, it's your, oh, I have to get my bucket. I have to have my remains. They're mine. You know. Oh, Jesus, people. All right, more explosion shit. Why Rodingo Duterte threatens to withdraw Philippines from UN? Uh, <clears throat> because they won't take shoes for uh, payment. You know, they have a bunch of Marco shoes left over. Uh, Rock executes at 36. We already did that. How U.S. gymnastics protected coaches over kids. Okay, so the coaches over the kids. Yeah, the poor kids. Uh, look, the whole thing is, <clears throat> it's, you know, there's children competing in the Olympics, which is probably not a great idea. You know, by the time you're 20, you're too old to be a gymnast. So, I mean, the whole thing is kind of a sick exploitation of children. <clears throat> There's no good way to exploit children, really. <laughs> you know, oh, you're not exploiting the children the right way. Uh, yeah, right. All right. Uh, the browser's crashing or something with this little circle-y thing. Got this little circle-y thing happening. Yeah, it's broken everything. Way to go, USA Today. You suck. Latest news headlines, but they're not responding. No, it's not responding. I, just, I don't know there's much I can do about that. I guess I'm going to hit that little X over there, but that didn't do anything. Firefox is not responding. Well, I'm going to wait for it to respond. I don't accept this. <clears throat> I think it's something. Yeah, see, it came back. I think it's something these evil papers doing. They're playing some kind of game. Now they've reloaded everything, little cunts. Hey, they're all different stories. <laughs> yeah, look, here we got no one. Judge dismisses civil suits against Kim Davis. Who the fuck is she? You know, maybe she was that creepy bitch who wouldn't uh, sign the um, <clears throat> Homo uh, Right to Marriage Act or something. Fuck you, skanky whore bitch, fucker, pig, creep. Brother of Syrian boy in uh, Itonic Apollo photo dies. I don't know what this was, but gee, his brother dies. <laughs> Kid's a bit of a mess. What the hell happened to you, bro? Huh, bro? Got blowed up a little? Looks like it was in one of the Martian movies. You know, the Martians attacked and a bunch of people got zapped next to him and he got all that green shit on him. Oh, I probably should read that. <sighs> no, I'm not. So, I don't know. Brother of the kid in a photo dies. It does seem a little tangential. At water's edge, southern Louisiana weighs its future. Oh, you mean they're trying to figure out that, uh, hey, we're too close to sea level. We uh, really are fucked. Oh, look, and they have the little, little girls working, too. Isn't that sweet? She's shoveling. She's helping. 
Uh, California wildfire destroys 100 homes plus 200 vehicles. Well, you'd think the vehicles could drive away. Well, well, nowadays they can drive by themselves, right? Anyway, fellow judge refers Arizona sheriff to criminal contempt. I don't know. I, I don't know what the refers means. But anyway, good. Uh, let's see, yeah, what else is news? Sex seal, no, did that. Thousands of people rescued from Louisiana flooding. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a wet place. Uh, California blue, California's blue cut fire, 80, 68% contained. Well, that's exciting. 68%. So there's still 38% running loose. Exactly. Sticky Notes turns into $70,000 pizza slices for the homeless. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, yeah. Give the homeless fucking pizza. <laughs> what the hell is that? <sighs> Give them health food. Give them fucking heart attacks. What do you need to know about Zika and pregnancy? You don't get pregnant. Jeez. What you need to know about pregnancy is... Fuck you, bitch! God, I mean, kids have got to start killing their parents or something. I don't know what you can, what can you do to deter this nonsense. It's really just so irritating. These people have no fucking life, and they're creating human beings to live in shit. Well, what logic is there to this crap? Fucking assholes. Assholes. <sighs> anyway, that's an exciting political cartoon. That doesn't even look like Trump. Looks like some short midget or something. I mean, I can, I don't really, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't even, I, they, you know, the, the hair is so exaggerated, there's almost no point. He's so over-exaggerated. The joke is just so overdone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Heroes come to the rescue of stranded pit bulls. Oh, isn't that brilliant? Yes, let's go save the psychotic killer dogs. I just don't understand people. What the hell is this? Hottest new mo models join hysteric cars at Monarchy Car Week. This is a piece of shit. <laughs> Whatever this is. It's an impractical pile of crap. Thinking about getting solar, read this first. It's just a big preposterous sham, you stupid retards. You put solar panels in your yard. You don't put them on your roof, you fucktards. <sighs> hey, there's the Mendham story. Mendham, the meal service is cheaper than your local store. I doubt that's true. Probably should click on that. But they're probably just saying that. The company that is pretending to be cheaper is just saying we're cheaper because no one's going to stop them from lying scums alright so uh, that's the news mostly yeah so this US Today thing might work because yeah they just give me pictures and it's nice and easy and I don't have to read the stories I can just make shit up and yeah so that works for me ah North Korea calls defector human scum Ugh. I wonder if that's the defector or that's the guy calling them scum. Yeah. Traitors suck, though. Um, fuck them. Well, you know. Mostly. Just convert. Don't be a traitor. Just say, look, I'm honestly leaving. I really, we have irreconcilable differences. And yes, do whatever you're doing, but I'm not going to do it anymore. That's okay. We don't have to make a big scene about it. You know, I'm, I think I'm done. I'm not going to bother with science news this week because yeah, I'm tired and irritated and I don't really give a fuck. People suck. I'm sorry if you're a person. And I have somehow implied you suck, but it's just the way it goes. I really should read this. Teen who impregnated teacher gets six million dollars from district. I mean, I can't believe a school district is so retarded they would pay a kid six million dollars for fucking a teacher. I don't know. <sighs> oh.
<laughs> I just don't understand. It's just, I don't really understand it. I don't understand the story at all. This whole male rape when the male isn't getting, you know, raped. You know what I'm saying? Not getting, he's not getting, imp he's not getting penetrated. He's doing the penetrating. And when a male is penetrating, I don't think he could possibly be called getting raped. It just really doesn't make much sense. I mean, he's kind of obviously having a good time. Kind of obviously. But we live in a retarded world. I mean, women victims of rape don't get six million dollars. They don't get like six dollars. I just don't understand. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <sighs> I, wonder if, I wonder if you can rape a teacher and get three million dollars. I mean, you know, if you get six million when she consents, I wonder if you get three million if she doesn't. <laughs> it's, Too fucking stu- oh, five most uplifting stories of this week. No, I don't think so. Anyway, till next time.